What's up guys, it's your Kirby Kirby's Gaming guys another episode of What's Inside the Box. Today, I finally got my pre-orders from GameStop. Today, I got all, well, almost all the My Hero Pops that just came out, but today, I'm gonna be reviewing Minas. And I'm not saying that my boobs are called Minas, but we're just reviewing Minas today. So let's find out how they look. All right, then. so I finally got my Minas. I'm very happy about this. So this one is exclusively to GameStop. You cannot get this metallic outside of GameStop. Now the common one you can actually get through, you know, anywhere in any retailer, but mine's came kind of damaged. So I have to wait for a replacement. Uh, hopefully it gets restocked between the 30 days because this one the box is not the greatest So I like my pops all minty fresh for the box, but this one I give it a solid out of five a two. I am very happy about this one specifically because this one is the exclusive for GameStop and now they have the Funko fan club sticker on it and if you remember the Sula had this same sticker as well I think this one's gonna go up in price quite a bit after you know this becomes really hard to get so I'm very happy to get this from the collection and as a new My Hero collector I'm very happy to get these two so let's go ahead and look at the regular Mina obviously I want to save the best for last which is this one so let's go ahead and actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and open both of them at the same time so to, we can see the difference and whatnot. Even though it's kind of clear that this one is metallic, I just want you guys to see the difference between these two amazing pops. Of course, I can't open these box with mere hands. Who do you think I am? Some sort of normie? We don't open this with that. We open it with special tools, but not with any tools. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Qualifier from 2013. This allows me to open up Funko boxes once per video. But today, we're gonna bend the rules. Today, we're gonna do two Funko Pops. Let's find out if I'm able to successfully save the boxes without damaging them. And specifically this one. This one's already damaged. But hopefully I don't damage the other one. But I'm gonna show you how to open Funko boxes with a credit card or a card in my case my ultimate weapon which is my Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Qualifier which my grandpa gave me a long time ago he did it, he did it. so first thing you want to do is put a card right here on the very tip of the inside have it go inside as you can see in this little corner they are mainly stuck to a surface in there the card is going to allow you to push it up and allow you to open it. If it doesn't show any signs of moving up or forward, you're going to go ahead and move to the other side. Now this one seems like it's the right corner. So let's go ahead and check how this goes. Are we gonna be able to open it? Let's go ahead and see. There we go. Bada beam, bada boom push it forward and that pops out so you're gonna go ahead and take it out and that's it and that's how you're able to take off your bunkle out of the box without damaging the box so that's one let's go ahead and do it for the other one all right then so these are the two minas right here right here is the common one and this one is the gamestop exclusive you can only get this through gamestop is the metallic version it comes with the metallic slime, which is silver. The regular one is translucent, which is clear slime. The reason why I got these two, normally I don't uh, get the Comet and the Chrome, just like the Kirishima, which is just literally just a common version and a Chrome version. I consider these differently. The reason why behind it is because the slime is completely different on this one. And it also has a different feel to it. Like legit, it just feels completely different. Like. These two pops, if you look at them, this one obviously looks better just because of the colors and the chrome and whatnot, if the camera can focus. Sadly, my webcam does not do any justice, but this one is a lot of a darker pink to the hair and it's obviously chrome. The silver just looks really nice to the combination of the metallic. This one is just very soft uh, vibe, obviously because it's a lighter pink. The translucent slime 
kind of like does it's not supposed to, like you know you can feel like it's not there so the focus goes back into the colors which is soft so overall i would say this one it's a nice it's a nice pop don't get me wrong but the metallic just wins just because of the color just because it's brighter and richer this one is just kind of like very very soft i personally got this one just because i wanted the collection and because it feels different because of the slime but overall if i had an option between these two i still would select the metallic version the metallic version just wins by a landslide like it looks way better in person like i'm trying to look at these two so the skin color is obviously the same the suit is a lot darker purple okay so that's something i want to note is there so if you notice this one right here the purple is so much darker this one is like very light uh purple so obviously because of the chrome color but i would assume it would have been the same tone but this one's also a darker blue versus this one is a lighter blue so overall uh this one the colors just pop out way better than this now if you have an option go with this one but if you want to be a completionist i would say buy both but let me know in the comments below what do you think about these minas so overall i hope in the future we get the school outfit because originally the common one was supposed to be the school outfit and then the gamestop exclusive was supposed to be with the hero suit i don't know why they did that because if this would have been the school outfit it would have been a completely different feel so it feels like this is a chase version obviously but it's not so hopefully we get her in her school outfit with some sort of slime and maybe a different pose just like you know with the uh, uraraka you know she has a bigger uh base with the rocks i would love to see that with her with the slime even though she's not a big character um i still think this is pretty awesome so now we're just kind of missing a couple from class 1a so i can't wait to see the rest let me know in the comments below which one you like and also let me know which class 1a character you like to be fun you know funkalized basically have an awesome day or night peace